recently released footage by the Israeli military claims to show that Hamas has been using the Al-Shifa hospital as a headquarters, and they claim to even have the tunnels. So we are going to break down just what evidence they have, what it could mean, and what is going to happen next, or at least my best guess. I'm Paul, U.S. Army combat veteran. This is your unbiased Israel-Hamas update. Let's get into it. Okay, first off, I always like to do this kind of tactical map check before we get into the videos. You can see uh, the Israeli forces, what I think is interesting, are pushing deep into the heart of Gaza, right? And as we've seen, I haven't seen much footage of them doing sort of house-to-house -house clearing or anything like that. Um, so... I, it's tough to say how this fighting is actually taking place and wh what the level of difficulty is. Uh, also interesting, though, where Israel has not made much progress is in this Biet Hanun. Uh, this, while they've sort of plunged deep into Gaza City, this area has been very, very slow to see Israeli progress. But what is important and worth noting is that in the Al-Shifa hospital, they've had it surrounded and have uh, conducted uh, uh, what in the military we sometimes call site exploitation. This is when you get to an enemy location or former enemy location, you try to glean as much intelligence from it as possible. You can learn a lot, even from things like the amount of trash left behind uh, uh, or uh, weapons that are left there, even footprints or um, the number of chairs in a room, right? You can discern a lot of information. If you have access to electronics, they're treasure troves, right? So what has Israel found? Well, they've released some footage uh, describing exactly what they have found. Let's, let's take a look at it real quick. So this is what they claim is the Hamas tunneling system. We're going to try to set this at the absolute uh, highest. Nope, nope. Okay, well, I don't have YouTube Premium. The highest they'll give me, uh, 1080p, so we can get the best view. So you can see, it looks like the Israelis have dug really deep down into here, which I find sort of interesting. You can see this looks like a ventilation shaft uh, leading up through a facility to a tunnel. Um, but there's a lot of debris, a lot of rebar here. So I wonder if this was something they detected maybe under a parking lot. <laughs> But generally, if you have this much weight, especially cars and stuff underneath it, you're going to have to have some level of infrastructure uh, supporting your tunneling network. And it, there does look like there's a tunnel in here. Again, it really looks like they dug their way in. Um, but I'm, I'm so curious to know what was on top of this. Again, you've got concrete rebar, may have been a low building or possibly, again, my, my thought is like a parking structure. <laughs> Wait, wait, there we go. Okay, we're getting a better look. Yeah, this looks like maybe some sort of parking structure. Um, you can see the main hospital buildings remain intact. This looks like maybe dumpsters out back. Let me see if I can get onto Google Maps and take a look at some of the satellite photo of the al Shif Hospital. I'll try to discern where this tunnel entrance is. Uh Again, bear with me. I, I kind of, I, I don't kind of, I record these in real time um, because I want you guys to get the sort of unfiltered reaction, unbiased reaction. Um, and of course, it's YouTube. I got to get this stuff out, uh, you know, relatively quickly. Okay, let's take a look. This is Google Maps. It's got this, uh, so it's got this satellite photo here from 2023. So you can see there's only one place where this hospital building sort of forms this 90 degree angle. And this is on this like inner courtyard here. And this looks like a another secondary building of the hospital, right? You can see that here's the main face and then here's a building that kind of abuts it at a 90 degree angle. And then right next to that building. So I think actually it's probably in this area because here's this building and then behind that is another, is this, um, what looks like this hospital building here. So right here's the main large building, a 90 degree angle, and then two additional buildings. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna say that this is probably where this is taking place. So it's right in this courtyard here. So it looks like this structure, which looks like my guess would be maybe a parking structure of some kind or some kind of open courtyard. This looks like where they've done this thing, but it could also be uh, into here, right, concealed by this tree line, which would make sense. You would, you would want to use uh, foliage if you had fighters entering and exiting a tunnel entrance here, you would want to prevent overhead surveillance of that. So you would want to have some foliage. Um, that's a, you know, a cheap, easy way to stop uh, overhead observation. 
Again, I don't think this is a tunnel entrance. That's the thing. It looks almost like the Israelis have dug this out themselves. Okay, we are here in the city of Gaza, in the heart of the city of Gaza, in Shifa Hospital. Okay, so this is also really interesting. Uh, I want to just make some notes. So he says, hey, we found this truck in the Al-Shifa Hospital. This is what Hamas is trying to hide from you. We found a vehicle filled with ammunition, uh, RP. Now, clearly, this truck has an eye-popping amount of gear. This is a lot for an individual truck. You can see multiple of Hamas's homemade anti-tank rockets. Looks like a whole bunch of combat vests, several AKs, lots of magazines. This, to me, says that this truck was probably being used for, like, logistics or resupply, um, or it was some kind of, like, mobile munitions dump, right? Wherever the fighting would take place, uh, troops could go resupply and get munitions, um, out of the truck itself. Now, what was it doing in Jeez. the hospital? AK-47s, we see handcuffs, knives. You can see they've got some handcuffs, right, knives. Indeed, a lot of grenades. Interesting here, you can see they also have power tools. This looks like maybe a bandsaw, and this looks like some kind of drill. So it makes me think that this may have been, uh, they claim it's part of the January, or the October 7th attacks, and I think this is very possible. This might have been a, a sort of backup vehicle, because um, again, these are, when you bring portable power tools, especially portable power tools that you plan on, like maybe plugging into a, a, a truck battery, um, it, to me that says that you're planning on on conducting some sort of offensive operation trying to breach um and you know the, the hamas right now is fighting a defensive fight without a lot Taking of breaching. Hostages but i think it's possible that in this defensive fight like let's say they wanted to occupy an apartment building well what they may do is say hey oh no we got to get into this room or that room to get the best angle on our target they go oh well there's only one way to get in and that's to break down the door well in, you can use a hammer, but if you're, but you can also use things like a bandsaw and a and a drill the Israel, to get through on the attack a door. Of seven, uh, October seventh. So again, As you can see they were it's very used well for breaching, and where but they're it's hiding all of this exactly equipment why. is in a hospital, a place that's supposed to be for humanitarian now, what aid. What I want to point out is that a truck, um, a truck is not the same thing as being in the hospital. And if the hospital is a medical center for Hamas fighters, then wounded fighters would likely be kazavac in that pickup truck. We've seen it in Ukraine where a lot of small units will commandeer civilian vehicles um, and then will load wounded soldiers into those vehicles and quickly evacuate them from the front line to medical care, which logically is going to be in this hospital. So again, is this the smoking gun? The answer is maybe. There's a good, there's a, there's a reason, right? If you were to be fighting in the hospital that you would put this truck here as a resupply for the troops operating there. Um, but it's also within the realm of possibility that this was simply a, uh, military vehicle that was, um, uh, moving to the hospital to, to treat wounded troops. Again, the smoking gun to me is take us into the, the tunnel system and guys clearing a tunnel system takes time, right? So, uh, you know, if, if there's weird silence from the Israelis, uh, for the next couple of days, then we'll probably know that, Hey, this tunnel will turn out to be a sewer or a storage basement or something. Um, but if they eventually in a couple, next couple of days, take people down to the tunnels and go, Hey, here's the headquarters. It would, just like we said, then I, I believe it again. U.S. intelligence, Israeli intelligence, they're pretty good. They say their tunnel's there. They found something that looks like a tunnel there. I'm inclined to believe it. They them. have all this evil hidden here. As we can see, we are in the heart of the hospital. And this is where they choose to hide everything because they know the idea. Also fascinating to me, here is a uh, regular Jeep that doesn't appear to, I can't tell if this is being used as an Israeli military vehicle. Um, it certainly has the colors and it may be being used to ferry around the front lines. Want but the windows have also been blown out. So it makes me think that, again, this may have been, this may be a quietly an indicator of Hamas using this military vehicle. I, I, I just don't know. attack here. So they use the hospital as human shields. But yeah, it is definitely in that courtyard there. That's probably uh, 
where we're seeing this. Anyway, guys, that's just a quick update. Uh, I appreciate you. As always, guys, if you want to support the channel, you can check us out at my site, combatvetnews.com. My link's in the description. I also have a uh, energy gum company called Strike Gum. You can check some out. Uh, 90 milligrams of caffeine in every piece. That's as much as a Red Bull, but with zero sugar. Um, Again, best way to support the channel because you guys know sponsors don't will absolutely not touch uh, Israeli war content. But I, I'm this is what I do, man. I'm bringing you guys independent analysis. So thanks again, and uh, let me know what you think in the comments. See ya.